after Prime Minister Modi came to power, uh, a lot has happened. A lot has changed. The procurement of weapons and also on a focus on uh, Make in India. Now, uh, there are so many things for the Army, Navy, and the Air Force. Uh, the Navy is building uh, more than 34 ships, including an aircraft carrier, including nuclear submarines, including frigates, including uh, destroyers, all of them made in Indian docks. So that is number one, a very, very big deal. That's a huge deal for any country. It speaks about self-sufficiency in terms of naval assets, naval platforms. Uh, that is happening. In terms, in terms of air, I think Tejas has really taken flight. It's been accepted. Uh, we've also got those 36 Rafales. There is a contract out for around 124, 126 aircraft, which uh, I think in the next one year should get finalized. So all these things are happening side by side. Uh, there are so many other things in the Air Force, like we saw the introduction of large uh, uh, lift capability aircraft. We've also seen uh, the Chinook helicopters and, and so much more in terms of missiles, etc., uh, which is there, which everybody knows. As regards the army and introduction uh, of the new battle rifle uh, that's happened in the army and uh, the introduction of new sniper rifles in the army and so many more things. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Uh, also, the acceptance, large acceptance of Arjun tanks. There was a massive order right. uh, for, uh, for, I think, two, 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 two and a half, three regiments of Arjun tanks, which is also a very, very major order. Now, all these things are part of modernization. India is now willing to push the military diplomacy envelope. That is great news. Uh, the DAs, the defense attaches at various embassies, they have been energized and galvanized. And uh, they are pushing Indian products in terms of telling friendly countries that why don't you buy the Tejas aircraft, why don't you buy Indian tanks? Why don't you buy Indian weapon systems and all that? There is an understanding between, finally, it seems that there is an understanding between MOD and, uh, and, and uh, you know, the Ministry of External Affairs. And they seem to be working in tandem and also the office of the NSA. Mm -hmm.